Hey guys, so I'll be honest, I really didn't feel like making a proper video this week, just had a lot going on. So I thought I would spend my time working on this arrangement of Mr. Brightside by the Killers, which is what you guys voted on uh, for the channel a couple weeks back of which song I should do an arrangement of. And so here we are. My process for working on a cover like this uh, was changed a couple years back, but I'll explain to you briefly what I did before that period a couple years ago. So what I used to do is I would just drop the song into a project. I would listen to it over and over and over again. And I would transcribe all the instruments by ear. And I would just write things down on pencil and paper. And I would just guess and check, guess and check, guess and check over and over again for every single instrument, including the drums, bass, guitars, all of it. And the reason for that is because one, I was working very inefficiently like an idiot. And two, I'm terrible at music theory. Unfortunately, both these things, I think, are still true. Anyways, I got slightly more efficient by realizing that if you are covering a very popular song, more than likely someone's already done this arrangement work for other instruments. And once you open up a MuseScore project, you can just change the instruments to what you need, and bam, you're well on your way. This was the case for this song to an extent. There was an arrangement of Mr. Brightside on MuseScore that had the instruments I needed in it, and it was free. Uh, so the, the electric guitar part, the bass part, the drum set, and these three parts here are more for melody and accent, so I don't really need them as much, but, I mean, good reference in case I was confused on how to sing the song. So I would export each of these tracks as MIDI tracks, and then I could drop them straight into Ableton. And not always can you just drop the tracks and expect everything to be totally fine. Sometimes the person that wrote the music wasn't as precise as maybe you would like them to be, in terms of what they wrote into the music versus what's in the actual song. So I still do a lot of checking back and forth between the MIDI tracks and the actual song to get all of the accents, the notes, uh, all the chords correct. So for the drum part, for example, what I spend most of my time doing is just going through and picking out sound samples in Ableton that match pretty close to what the song sounds like. And once that part's done, I do the same thing for the bass. If you want to see the bass plugin I use, it is Moto Bass. And for this particular cover, I put Guitar Rig 6 over it, specifically the Jump Amplifier plugin from Contact. If you ever wanted to know what like $500 of plugin sounds like, it's this bass track right here. Solo it out real quick. Now, you might not be that impressed, and maybe you shouldn't be, but these plugins are something that I use in the vast majority of my covers, and I can highly vouch for how good they are. Though, if you're ever going to consider buying them, make sure you A, actually use them, and B, do what I did and wait for a Black Friday sale. You'll thank me later. So going down beyond that, going into the instruments that later get turned into trumpets, I usually go down through each of these... Uh, instrument tracks and I actually pick out the proper MIDI instrument for them such that I can almost replay the entire song without using any trumpets at all. So here's the chorus of what all that sounds like. <laughs> that synth part it just adds a little dash of spice to the song and i really love it and if, by the way if if you're hearing this song and like not going crazy then the, the, the song just must not have been made for you and then again i feel like it was kind of made for depressed people so hmm. kind of a cell phone there huh anyways moving on once i have all the instrument tracks laid out i actually start to break them apart into what becomes the trumpet sheet music that i read off of while recording because of course you can't play chords on a trumpet unless you take two or three of them and just jam them up against the side of your face and play them simultaneously i would not recommend that though it is possible i am just not enough of a chad to pull it off so once I finished breaking apart the instruments into trumpet tracks, in this case, I ended up with six individual trumpet tracks, and then I re-export each of those tracks into MuseScore, and that became this sheet music here. And then I just name each of the parts in MuseScore uh, with correspondence to the actual instrument role that they are fulfilling in the song. 
So these are all trumpet parts, but I have them labeled according to their roles in the original song. And yes, the key signature on this is horrendous. It's also not even close to accurate, but I don't really care. I'm not posting this sheet music unless I feel like it. And I don't really care if the key signature is proper if I'm the only one who's reading it. Once I have the sheet music made, I just go down through each of the trumpet parts and record them several times until I get takes that I believe are worthy. And then I drop all those audio takes together and I do some effects work on them. This is all unprocessed at the moment. I haven't done any effects work on this yet, but you can hear how this sounds with the trumpets in instead of actual instruments. Doesn't sound that bad, all things considered. Now there's gonna be a lot of processing work that goes into this with, uh, with with respect to compression, equalizing, all that stuff before I would consider this up to snuff, but I think it's pretty good for a first pass. So really the only thing that this is missing now are the vocals and a lot of effects work. So hopefully I'll be able to finish this cover and release it either this following weekend or the weekend after something like that once i start projects i have to get through them fast or else i just let things sit around on shelves forever it's a it's a known problem so yeah anyways that was a little behind the scenes look as to how i actually go about making these arrangements if you have any questions uh let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more of these videos uh drop a like subscribe let me know and uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed that and i will talk to you later